Hey, this is Nettie. I hope everything is well with you. Today is uh, September the 2nd, and tomorrow, Saturday, it'll be three weeks since the flood, since water started to enter our home, and um, I've been asked to do, to just share a little bit of an update. Um, thank you for those who have been reaching out and have been um, texting or Facebook messaging. Um, thank you so much for the prayers. I do appreciate all the outreach. Just really quickly, um, our house has been gutted for a couple of days. Um, we're, we're at studs now from four feet down. Um, stuff is cleared out and we're still just trying to go through it and figure out what is what. Um, we're in the drying stage and hopeful that maybe by the end of next week we'll have dry and we'll have somebody to come in and give us a mold certification to make sure that's clear. So that's where we are with the home. Both of the cars have been totaled and have been carted off. Um, so that's where we are with the cars. And I was really excited today because as I was coming in, I noticed that the trucks are on my block. The trucks getting the debris, they're coming down. That's a happy thing. That's a happy thing because <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it gets to be a bit much. I've been really deliberate about not posting any pictures of all of the debris and the destruction. Um, I see it day in and day out every day. I'm living it and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of seeing years of living piled up on the curb. And, and some of these debris piles are so high that you can't see the homes from which it came. It's, it's, it's just a bit much. And I just don't want to, oh, well, I have a ton of pictures of everything and every stage of this for insurance purposes and for documentation, just in case I do, you know, get to a place where I want to look at it or document it or revisit it later, but I don't want to do it now. <laughs> and I'm not putting it up on Facebook because I don't want to see it. And if, you know, there are plenty of pictures on the internet. I just don't want to add to it. But there's another reason why I'm, I'm, I don't want those images popping before me more than I can control, you know, when I'm just looking at it and driving around. And it has to do with the power of imagery. If we think about it like vision boards and people that do follow like color therapy, even in the sports era world where people do mental rehearsing or even in academics where we go over things, there's a connection between what we see, how we think, then how we feel, how we act and how we react. And so having these images of destruction and, and just filth and debris and all of that in front of me all the time, I, I just don't like where that goes. And so I'm not going to add to it. Instead, I decided that with this, with this particular update, I'm going to post some pictures of not what Denham Springs or my subdivision or my home, not what it looks like now. I'm going to post for the next couple of days a couple of my favorite pictures of what it used to look like. Um, not because we're not going back, but it's a reminder of what restoration and co-recovery, it's, it's a looking forward to what restoration and recovery will look like. What we look like then, knowing that we will look like this again, but only better. So that's what I'm going to post. And you know what? If you're in this area and, and your area, you're tired of looking at all of this debris and and. And just all of this, I'd love to see some of your favorite pictures. What are you looking forward to getting back to, but only better? We move towards what we see. So instead of looking at debris and destruction, I want to look at things that are lovely and things that are pure and things that are good report because I want to think on those things. I encourage you, if you're in this area to join me, let me see your pictures, post them in the comments because um, things are going to get better, y'all. You take care. God bless and be well. I love y'all and thanks for all of the outreach and the, and the thoughts and, and keep praying, please. We feel the prayers. We need your prayers. Thank you. Bye-bye.